Oh hey, don't mind me, I'm just pitching some new ideas for a new Halo game. Concerning the current situation of the Halo franchise, I want to see if I could make a better Halo game than a multi-million dollar company. If they mess up a well-known ID, surely I couldn't. Halo Infinite launched in an incomplete state. It released without some of the most iconic and memorable features of the past Halo games that the development team promised even before the announcement of Halo Infinite. No split-screen co-op, the ability to play as elites, game modes like Infection, and more importantly, Forge. Infinite launched with little to no variety of content. Even if Infinite does have all of them, the progression system sucks. Having only a limited number of weekly challenges and being able to unlock only one item every time you level up a battle pass is dreadful. Back when it launched, the only way you can get XP is by completing challenges and that's it. Not only that, but when you see a cool looking armor core, you have to spend a ton of money. Customizing your experience was a huge part of the Halo experience, and with Infinite having accessories and other cosmetics locked behind the paywall, even with just a color you want, it's lame. I mean, it's pretty obvious since the multiplayer launched for free ahead of the campaign. Modern first person shooters are heavily monetized these days that it doesn't feel fun unlocking some cool cosmetic by purchasing it with real money. Now besides all that, no post game lobbies? I mean that's where you can talk with your teammates and enemies and that's fun, but no, the only way you can talk with someone is when you're in a game. Voice chat is crucial in the ultimate social experience that Halo is known for. Sure, someone might call you the n-word, but there's a certain magic that voice chat has in a video game. Now let's move on to the campaign of Infinite. I think the story is okay. Nothing groundbreaking, but it's entertaining enough. But I hope Infinite's campaign doesn't turn out like Halo 4 or 5. One common problem I find with Halo 4 and Guardians is that they don't connect in terms of narrative. It's like when you play 4 and 5 or 5 and Infinite, you feel like you're missing something. Like you never play the Halo game that connects these two stories, and if this happens to Infinite, it's going to be a total problem for the next Halo game. Now speaking of the campaign, do you remember the rumors of that Halo Infinite is getting a campaign DLC? Yeah? Well, the DLC is scrapped unfortunately. So no new content except for the multiplayer. Now one good thing that happened to multiplayer a few months ago is that Forge has returned and the community is already making some stellar maps. Like there's so much creativity in these maps than the ones 3 for 3 made and that's saying something. Still, even with all of these new features added to this game up to this day, Infinite should have been released in a complete state and with what's happening right now, there's little to no hope left for the future of Halo. Now should 3 for 3 step down and let another video game company take care of Halo? Well... If it were to happen, Halo is most likely going to be passed on to Bethesda since Microsoft acquired the company not too long ago. Bethesda made some of the most awesome video games ever made, Doom Eternal, Skyrim, Wolfenstein, and Fallout. But here's the thing, if a new Halo game is released by Bethesda, what if it would turn out like Fallout 76 at launch? See here's the thing I'm worried about. G4 Tree Industries is the only video game company that I know that has enough knowledge to make a Halo game since they have some if not most employees that used to work at Bungie, the original creators and development team of Halo. I don't want to see Halo be acquired by a video game company that has no common knowledge of how a Halo game works. So let's have another example, Activision. They're well known for making the modern Crash Bandicoot games but more importantly, Call of Duty. If they were to make a Halo game, they could put some mechanics from the modern Call of Duty games like customizable weapons and loadouts, and that sounds fun and all, but if they just turn it into a sci-fi Call of Duty game like Infinite Warfare, they fail to make a Halo game. So that's where I come in. Am I supposed to type the alphabet? Just to be clear, I have no idea how to make a video game. I'm still in 9th grade and you expect me to learn this? What? button should I press? But the least I can do is to throw some concepts and ideas and that's what I'll be doing right now. Now before I begin, I just want to note that the majority of what I'm going to say is strictly my own personal preference of a future Halo game. So if you have different views or ideas for a Halo game, I'd love to hear them. Right now, Halo, Chief or Chief specifically, needs to hear the opinions of the community better to fix Halo Infinite and the franchise as a whole. 
But for now, I want a new Halo game and I want to make a new Halo game. This doesn't mean I want a new Halo game now, but when Infinite is showing its age or it's not doing any better in the future, I'll save up some concepts that I want to see in the next Halo game. So let's begin. Of course, we better begin with a title for a new Halo game. Let's take a look back at the previous Halo games. The first 5 Halo games generally have numbers on them up until Infinite. Calling the next Halo game Halo 7 just doesn't feel right. It would just make Infinite look like a big budget Halo spin-off game. So this new Halo game needs to have its own subtitle like with Infinite. We could go for something like Halo Zeta, where the setting of the game is in the title just like with Halo Reach. But if I were to pick a title, it should connect with the story of the campaign. And that's where a problem is. I'm not gonna go too deep into the story of the next Halo game. There are many possibilities here, but right now I'm just going to state some things that I want to see in the next Halo game. First, it should pick up right where the campaign of Infinite ended. No unnecessary time skips, I don't want any of that. Like I said earlier with Halo 4 and 5, I don't want the next Halo game to feel like you missed something during or after the events of Infinite. Secondly, it would be nice to see the return of some fan favorite characters like Arbiter, maybe even Amanda Palmer from Halo 4 or the surviving members of Fireteam Osiris from Halo 5. Maybe even June from Halo Reach, who knows, he might still be alive. Lastly, I don't want the campaign to be too complex, but just the right amount of complexity to be entertaining to both diehard fans and newcomers. Again, the possibilities are endless for the campaign, but hey, those are just the kind of stuff I want to see in the next Halo game. Now this is where things spice up. The multiplayer. The first thing I want for the multiplayer is to have the magic of the original Halo games, specifically Halo 3. Pre-game lobbies and post-game lobbies. They are the most important things to have in a multiplayer game and should not be overlooked. Proximity chat. I've seen many games have this feature and it sounds so fun. Being able to talk with your teammates within a few meters adds this extra layer of depth and immersion to the game. I also want to return map voting. Being able to choose which map you want to play is far better than just getting a random map without the ability to vote. Next is the customization of Spartans and Elites. I want the customization to be almost the same as Halo Reach. You can purchase cosmetics for your Spartan using credits you earn by playing the campaign and multiplayer. I also want the customization of Elites to be the same as these Spartans. We only get to choose specific classes of elites, which is okay enough, but I want more. I want different unlockable designs and cosmetics for each class. I want more variety in terms of customization. I also want to return loadouts, specifically the ones from Halo 4. The loadouts should only allow the player to customize their weapons and grenades. I'm still trying to figure out if I want the return of the armor abilities from Halo 4 or just include the field items in Infinite like the grapple shot. If you put two and two together, it'll just be complete chaos, which on one side sounds fun, but it'll be hard to balance them out in a competitive play. So I'm just gonna include the field items in Infinite since they're not too OP than the armor abilities in Halo 4, but I will include the tactical package. Then again, I don't want to include some ridiculous tactical packages so that everything is balanced. And while we're at it, let's talk about the progression system. I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this. Listen, some of you might like the battle royale-like progression system of Infinite, but we need to go back. Specifically, 2010. I know, I know, my nostalgic love for Reach may be a bit too much, but don't forget that everything I've said up until now is my opinion of a new Halo game. Deal with it. Let's continue. I want to bring back the original progression system of Halo Reach. It's much more organized and you don't have a progression system where you only unlock one cosmetic by leveling up each time. Whenever you level up, you unlock more cosmetics for your character. Now you still need to purchase them with credits so you have to play some more campaign missions or multiplayer matches, but I don't want it to feel too tedious. I want the progression system to be more enjoyable. Now, I don't want any in-game purchases that use real money. I want things to be what they once were back then. Next are the game modes, basically all the original game modes from the original Halo games. Slayer, Oddball, Griffball, King of the Hill, Capture the Flag, Assault, Territories, Juggernaut, Infection, and VIP, maybe even Firefight. We haven't gotten Firefight since Reach. 
Of course, you can't have a Halo game without Forge. I want Forge to have more features than ever, so that experienced Forge creators can make maps that are incredibly detailed and fun to play. And then we have the weapons. The Assault Rifle, BR-75, Skewer, Shock Rifle, Mangler, and Sentinel Beam from Infinite, DMR, Needle Rifle, Plasma Rifle, Spartan Laser, Fuel Rod, Cannon, Focus Rifle, and Plasma Launcher from Reach, the SMG, Brute Spiker, Carbine, Shotgun, Brute Shot, Beam Rifle, Rocket Launcher, Gravity Hammer, Energy Sword, and Sniper Rifle from Halo 3. So that's pretty much everything I want of a new Halo game. Sure, that may be a bit too much to ask, but honestly, I don't care. I like to talk about stuff not everyone agrees with, such as... Pineapple on pizza isn't that bad. Only two genders exist. There isn't any good music nowadays. Lego Marvel Superheroes is the greatest game of all time. And me, making well-written, expertly edited, top-of-the-line episodes of a series many love watching. I can't believe I put this in the script.